Checkmate 901 study is a phase three study of patients with metastatic urothelial cancer who were randomized to treatment with the combination of gemcitabine cisplatin plus nivolumab or gemcitabine plus cisplatin alone. The study was reported previously. The full report is published in the New England Journal of Medicine, uh, showing that the study met its primary endpoint, showing an improvement in overall survival in patients treated with gemcitabine cisplatin plus nivolumab versus gemcitabine plus cisplatin. In this update analysis, we look at the subset of patients who've had a complete clinical response to treatment. Of course, in the setting of metastatic urothelial cancer, historically with the regimens that we've used, complete clinical responses occur in only a subset of patients. And what we saw in the Checkmate 901 study is that the complete clinical response rate doubled with gemcitabine cisplatin plus nivolumab versus gemcitabine plus cisplatin. It was about 20% with the uh, triplet regimen versus about 10% with gemcitabine and cisplatin. And so we were interested in determining further who those patients were who were achieving a clinical complete response and what the implications of, of those responses might be. So the first thing that we did was look at the baseline characteristics of patients on the study who went on to achieve a clinical complete response. And perhaps not entirely surprisingly, about half of the patients who had a complete clinical response on both arms uh, were patients with lymph node only metastatic disease. Of course, the proportion of patients who achieved a clinical complete response were higher on, on the arm that received gemcitabine cisplatin plus nivolumab, but in both arms, uh, complete clinical responses were enriched in patients with lymph node-only disease. And the significance of that finding is that we really don't know how best to treat patients with metastatic urothelial cancer with lymph node-only metastatic disease, particularly when those lymph nodes are confined uh, to the regional lymph nodes, the pelvis in, in, in the retroperitoneum. We know that a subset of those patients historically would achieve durable disease control with systemic therapy, plus or minus the integration of uh, consolidative surgery. Uh, and so the, the challenge has been that patients with lymph node metastatic disease to the pelvis have historically been enrolled in trials, including patients with metastatic disease, uh, though it's really a distinct subset of, of, of the disease with, with regionally advanced metastatic disease. So we were interested in determining further uh, what happens in patients with lymph node-only disease treated with gemcitabine cisplatin nivolumab versus gemcitabine cisplatin. Interestingly, the response rate in patients with lymph node only disease uh, with gem cis nevo was 80%, and the clinical complete response rate was 63% in patients with gem cis nevo. And that compared to a response rate of about 60% with gem cis alone and a complete response rate of 33%. So the clinical complete response rate in patients with lymph node only metastatic disease went from 33% to 63% in patients uh, who received GEMSYS versus GEMSYS NEVO. The next thing we did is look at what was the uh, disease trajectory in those patients, because this regimen is given for a fixed duration of treatment. So GEMSYS is given for six cycles, and then nivolumab is continued in the absence of disease progression for up to two years, and then the treatment stops. Uh, and so there is the potential opportunity with this regimen to see if there is a durable treatment-free interval, uh, can patients achieve a deep durable response and then remain off treatment, uh, which is certainly our goal. And what we see in this study, and it's descriptive because there's are, these are small subsets of patients, but there are a, a good number of patients who achieve a clinical complete response with Gemsys Nevo who remain off all treatment for a long period of time without any evidence of disease recurrence. So we think this is certainly an important finding uh, for our patients. Ultimately, that's what we're trying to achieve, disease control uh, and reduction in treatment burden. Um, the next thing that we did is in an exploratory fashion, look at overall survival and progression-free survival in this subset of patients treated with Gemsys Nevo versus Gemsys. And the reason that this is important is because we, we know that lymph node only metastatic disease is a prognostic indicator in metastatic urothelial cancer. Patients with lymph node only disease generally do better 
than patients with metastatic disease to other sites. And so one could argue, uh, well, this, these patients are destined to do better regardless of what you give them. Do they really need the triplet therapy? Should we reserve the triplet therapy for patients with more advanced disease uh, to other, other areas? And what we found was actually that the benefit of the triplet regimen of Gemsys Nevo is at least as good and perhaps even more impressive in this clinically defined subset of patients. So the again, this is an exploratory analysis, but for overall survival, uh, the hazard ratio was 0.58 in favor of Gemsys Nevo versus uh, Gemsys. And uh, for progression-free survival, the hazard ratio is actually 0.38. Uh, and so we can see that patients with lymph node-only metastatic disease treated with Gemsys Nevo uh, have improved outcomes compared to Gemsys alone and have the potential to achieve durable disease control with a, a reasonable treatment-free interval in a subset of patients. Um, of course, when we see results with a triplet regimen or with a combination regimen, the next question that we have to ask is at what cost does that come in terms of side effects? And what we see with the combination of gemcitabine and cisplatin plus nivolumab versus gemcitabine and cisplatin is that we see side effects related to both components of the regimen. We see side effects related to immune checkpoint blockade in a subset and side effects related to chemotherapy, but we don't see synergistic side effects. You don't see an exacerbation of chemotherapy related side effects when you give concurrent immunotherapy and vice versa with, uh, with immunotherapy. Um, and so uh, a regimen that has side effects that one might expect with individual components of the regimen that achieves a very high rate of response in patients with lymph node only metastatic disease and can potentially achieve durable disease control in this subset of patients with metastatic disease.